If you're looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate video, guys. And today, I'm doing the lineup update. It's Sunday, and you guys know on Sundays we got football. We got plenty of stuff to watch, stuff to do. So, gonna keep it nice and simple on a Sunday. Go over my lineup now, guys. I have finally built my own version of a God Squad now. So many in 87 overall may not be a guy squad, but from the way my team's playing and the way it looks like in weekend league and stuff, like my team's playing pretty solid. I, I came through a lot of coins yesterday after that insane bundle I had. Now guys, sorry about that bundle being cut off at the end. It was a glitch with my editing software where yesterday was cutting out the end of videos and I must have missed this one. I thought I fixed it and it just went through anyway, so sorry about that. But you didn't really miss much. You missed another 89 overall Michael Vick. Now yesterday I didn't pull anything good. We thought at least until the end of the pack opening, which you missed, is where I went over the math and realized that there's four Michael Vick 89s and those two Deion Sanders 89s, each one for 370k. So I ended up making over 2 million coins, plus the Redux Sonny Gonzalez as well, which is pretty awesome. Anyways, that's about it for that, guys. I do want to get into it. After all those coins that I came into, I did go ahead and pick up a lot of players, and my team is pretty stacked now for, for, compared to what I think. Now, guys, for the Poodle Squad today, all you gotta do is go down below, like the video, turn on the nutty bell, and comment down with Poodle Squad, and subscribe as well, guys. I greatly appreciate that. Now, for today's Poodle squad, squad, it is Ross Ramsey. Shout out to you, man, for being part of the Poodle Squad. Thank you so much for showing support each and every day. Now, you guys know how I do my lineup updates. I go one by one through the positions. I kind of tell you why I have them there and give you guys some reasoning. I feel like that can help you with your own team because when I tell you a reason why I kind of like these certain guys at these positions, you may go back to your team and be like, oh, that's, that's you know that's, that's pretty reasonable. I should think about that. But let's get into the video and let's start going to the players. So at quarterback, we have Michael Vick. I finally powered down uh, Lamar Jackson. Michael Vick is just so much better. I played with both of them. Uh, Michael Vick is way faster, for starters, at least the way it feels in the field. And that throw power and go deep is just different. I was actually able to hit Tyree Kill on a 70, like 60, 70 yard bomb down the field, let him ahead, which with Lamar, that would have just dropped dead 10 yards short, which would have been an easy pick. Uh, the ball gets out so much quicker. And then if I get go deep really maxed out, I can get him up to like a 95, 96 throw power which is just absolutely insane, plus the deep accuracy threshold. Michael Vick's the best quarterback in Madden right now. Now, again, Lamar, for many people, may be the better option anyways, because, again, if you're on a budget and you're, ball you're balling on a budget, stay with Lamar because he is free. He came with the game for you. But I'll probably should end up having both all year anyways and just alternate as Lamar gets the next upgrade. You guys know the routine. Lamar Vick, Lamar Vick, back and forth. But Vick is definitely a stud. Now, running back, I did go the Reggie Bush route. I really like Reggie Bush. His jukes in-game, he juke. he's like last year's jukes with jukebox. He can take a juke and go like five five feet to the left and just go crazy to the left. He's pretty crazy. I really like this Reggie Bush. I think he's, he's he's just like Barry Sanders, but half the price. Now, yes, Barry Sanders is better, but Reggie Bush is a better route runner, which I do take into uh, consideration because when I, when I run like little out stuff with him, or I run like right to the flat routes, he runs them very crisp. I feel like that it kind of accelerates the the play speed I can run my plays at, so I kind of like that, as well as just the speed and excel and the juking is not too bad at all, and the carrying is decent, of course. I wish I could power him up so he can get like the break tackle threshold and he can get his speed to 92, but the issue with powering him up is that their power ups just cost way too much right now. I can't, I can't 250k is just crazy for 70 overall power up card. Uh, fullback doesn't really matter. Uh, wide receiver, I have Reggie Wayne, Tyree Kill, Andre Johnson, Tyler Lockett. Now, I do have to play my level up challenges and level up, of course, to get Andre Johnson up to 91. Now, Andre Johnson's not the greatest, but he makes, he, okay, when it comes to receiving, he's like one of the greatest receivers in the game. Like, he just catches everything. I just wish he was faster with better route running, but I'm going to get him up to 91. I'm going to rock with him, Reggie Wayne, and Tyree Kill. I need to power up Reggie Wayne, but Tyreek's obviously my speed guy. Andre Johnson's like that, just like I see him open, I pass him, probably catch it. And then Reggie Wayne's like my, my, like, my Jerry Rice, my route runner. Now, tight end, I have Jimmy Graham, and so far, I don't know how I feel about him. Like, Jonu Smith gets the job done regardless, but Jimmy, Jimmy Graham, I paid a lot of money for, so I do hope that he can start pulling through for me more. Now, he's only 314K. That's not crazy, but it is still a decent amount spent on the tight end. Now, I haven't, I just haven't seen the returns just yet. Uh, again, I've been trying to do jump balls, and he hasn't been catching them. Maybe I got to focus on something else. All depends on your opponents, too, and how they play, but with man coverage, it's really hard to get tight ends involved. Now, Lyman will go through quick. I got Walter Jones and Trent Williams at left guard. I believe I start Trent Williams over, which I got. I got really got to fix that. Brandon Linder at center, which is the cheap center option. Right guard we got Zach Moore, which I really like, and then at right tackle we have Lane Johnson power, which I want to get to full Lane Johnson at some point. And moving on to the defense, left end we don't use left end. I just don't like some of the left ends, and the ones I do are too expensive, like the new Reggie White. So obviously I'm gonna save up for that a little bit. But instead, what we rock with is a few other things here. So my defense is all kind of weird because I run a lot of players out of position. So at right end, I have Miles Garrett and Aaron Donald and Yannick Ngakwe. As you guys can see, I have three right end. So I start Miles Garrett at right end. 
I start Aaron Donald at defensive tackle. I put Yannick Ngakwe at defensive tackle depending on the play. And then what I start for my other end is going to be, not a, I, don't, I, don't, I don't use left outside linebacker either. So I use three right ends. I use one middle linebacker, which is Devin Bush. I like his speed. He plays good. And then I use Lawrence Taylor powered up over here. Now Lawrence Taylor is an absolute fiend, guys. You guys have to go get him and power him up, of course. He, I've noticed him. Like, I really haven't noticed pass rush too much in this Madden yet. Like, I've noticed a lot of players, even Miles Garrett, be like, okay. Lawrence Taylor's first game, he was, he was rushing at that quarterback, super fast, which is kind of weird because Miles Garrett has similar stats. I guess it's that speed. I don't know what it is, the speed or the strength or what really does it. But he's crazy good. Highly recommend you pick him up. So yeah, so my defense, I run Miles Garrett at right end. I run Lawrence Taylor at left end, pretty much well, off the edges, outside linebacker. I run Aaron Donald, Yannick, and Gakway in the interior. And the middle linebacker is just Devin Bush. And then as we get to cornerback, I have Deion Sanders, which this is technically powered up because I have the LTD version. Deion Sanders is an absolute fiend, guys. He plays amazing. 93 speed, 93 excel, 93 agility, 90 jumping, 91 play rec, 93 man, 92 zone, 83 press. He's, he's insane. He's crazy. I put Acrobat on him so he can get all those crazy picks, especially with his athleticism. You got to have Acrobat on Deion Sanders. And then we got Byron Jones, we got Aeneas Williams and Tredavious White. So pretty much Aeneas Williams is playing a free safety for me, although I don't like that, but I'm going to have to I'm tempted to buy Steve Atwater. And then I play Dion and Byron as the two corners. And then I actually end up playing a big nickel, which is where I put my safety down. So I don't have a free safety yet either. I've been rocking with two strong safeties and three cornerbacks. So here you go. Here I got Tyron Matthew and Isaiah Simmons. So Tyron Matthews plays my um, my nickel corner, my nickel corner sub in big nickel. And then Isaiah Simmons actually ends up playing my user. So Isaiah Simmons is my user at linebacker. I'm telling you guys, he's absolutely, he's the best user still in Madden. 90 speed, 90 excel, 83 tackle, 83 player, 85 pursuit, 88 hit power. What really matters here for me is going to be the 90 speed, the 90 excel, the 88 hit power, and the 85 pursuit when I'm chasing people down. And Isaiah Simmons is the best user in the game right now for me because he's 6'4", he's got crazy speed. I'm able to, when I bait people, it works out a lot better because he has that height to end that reach. When I jump routes, it works out even better because he's so fast and uh, he has longer arms. Trust me, there's just so much stuff about him. Oh, and if you, I wish you can get Lurker though, which would make it so much more interesting with what you can do with him. But regardless of Lurker or not, he's still one of the best, if not the best user. And for me, it's the best user because the height, you just can't beat that height speed and the hit power. In the run game, when they run a dive, I instantly cut between the guard and the center, right through them and smash the, uh, the running back. Or I come around the edge and smash him. I force a lot of fumbles. He can just do everything. He's like oh, he's like an android just running around the field at all times. But guys, that's pretty much it for today's lineup update. I'm going to show you the full lineup in bulk, like the entire screen of it real quick so you guys can have an idea of what it looks like. Uh, obviously, like I said, my overall would be higher. Honestly, that's the thing too. My overall probably is like a 90 overall. Like no, probably like an 89 overall if I really put it together. I bought my left guard and I put some stuff together. Probably like an 88, 89. But of course, I'm missing out on the left guard. Uh, that, the right tackle. Um... Let's see. So that's what the offense looks like here. For me, it's perfect. I just I run a lot with Reggie Bush, and I do a lot of read options with Michael Vick, and I do a lot of running with Vick, and then occasionally I pass depending on the defense. I, I'm not I'm not too I'm not too crazy on offense. And then on defense, like I said, I have a Patrick Queen, Chase Young starting there. I have a left end on position, a right end on position. I have a strong safety, a free safety. If I really fix this position, I'd probably like an 89 overall. But it's pretty solid. Trust me, guys. I mean, I understood. Like I had to remind myself that. I don't need to spend more coins to make my overall look pretty. At the end of the day, it's all about what I'm gonna actually use in the field. And if I'm not using a middle linebacker two or left us a linebacker, there's really no point to go ahead and spend money on one. Although I used to really care about what my overall look like. But guys, it's about a video. Hope you guys enjoy. If you did enjoy today's video, smash the like button if you want to join the Poodle Squad and be shouted out. Like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, and be subscribed as well as turn on the noti bell. Thank you guys for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy football Sunday. Hopefully the hopefully the Giants lose, honestly. I want I want a good pick this year. Uh, I want to get one more, one more good pick. We just need like seven lotteries in a row so we can actually be good. Uh, but yeah, that's about it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.